What's going on YouTube? OCD3DC here and what I got for your face balls today is a little bit of follow-up on this whole sharpener video. I've had a whole bunch of comments, uh, emails, all kinds of stuff and I just wanted to clear up a couple of things that I forgot to do uh, on the original shoot here if you will. Um, first we're gonna talk about the KME. Um, so I want to start this off by saying the sharpener works great. You can absolutely get good results with it. Uh, no issues in that way. Um, I just personally think that it's not worth the money for me. Now, again, I sharpen freehand uh, all the time. That's what I. That's my preferred method. I just was messing around with these uh, fixed angle kits and uh you know checking them out seeing how they operate and that sort of a thing uh they uh, this thing can you make a sharp knife absolutely can you make it sharper than what i did here absolutely i just did uh with the standard progression that comes with the kit i know that you can get all the films and all the strops and all the things and make mirrored polish edges and i could probably if i wanted to spend enough time I could probably get this thing down to where it's 25 grams or something on my sharpness tester. Who knows? Uh, but if I spend enough time, I, I'm sure I could do that. What I was going for here was a good edge. This edge is better than factory. Most factory edges do not come in under 200 uh, grams on the sharpness tester. Not saying that there isn't one out there, but the vast majority are actually closer to 300 um, out of the box. So, you know, with this thing testing at 165, uh, it's a good edge. It's a good working edge for sure. Now, the other thing is, is that a bunch of people were talking the diff because I used this, the uh, natural stones with the, the raisin and I used uh, diamonds. Um, I also used what is uh, preferred for those stones. So I used the Cold Steel 8015 with the KME, which is in S35VN. You can see right there. So this is a powdered super steel, uh, and that's what those are intended for. And I used a non-powdered steel uh, with AUS-10 for uh, the Raisin uh, Pro. So, <clears throat> so I used I, I used it the way they intended it to be used, and I used the diamond stones. And like I said. The edge that is on this 8015, um, I would say, looks a little nicer. Now, that could be a function of just the stones, uh, the fact that these were diamond versus natural stones. Um, that could also be a function of just the way the steel uh, uh, takes an edge. Um, I just like the finish better on this one uh, than, than I do the, the other one. Um, however, as far as sharpness is concerned, um, you know the steel and the stones that you use um, and all whether it's a super steel or not uh, that doesn't really affect sharpness um, you can make a, a non super steel just as sharp um, now this will this edge will last longer hopefully if it's done correctly it should last longer than AUS 10 um, so we have better edge retention and this could be easier or harder to sharpen and all those sorts of variables. There's a million variables here, but when it comes to just pure sharpness, that how, how fine of an apex did you get on the edge, then uh, you know that's what we're talking about here. And that's what this setup is doing is putting a nice apex and uh, you know I was able to achieve a really good edge with both systems. Now, <clears throat> With the KME, my biggest complaints were first and foremost, absolutely right out of the gate, is price. Price on this thing to me is out of line. Uh, but again, everybody's you know, everybody has to come up with in their own mind what something is worth. And if there's value in it for you, then great. Uh, you know, again, I freehand sharpen. So when I look at this at $225, I could buy some really, really nice stones for $225. Uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, and and get better edges for me. Uh, 
But again, uh, everybody has to make that decision for the, themselves. Uh, so price being one big, huge complaint, the handle being another one, I do see the, the uh, benefit of being able to hold this in your hand while you're sharpening. Uh, that way you're not putting too much down pressure on it. You're not, uh, you know, damaging stones. Uh, it probably would be easier to not have the rod fall out constantly. Um, but you know, they could have fixed the rod falling out problem with a, with a four cent, uh, stop collar. Uh, but you know, for, I guess you don't get that for $225. So, uh, again, this sharpener works. It works extremely well. That's not the issue here. Uh, I'm not complaining about how it works. Um, I, I do think that the handle needs to be flipped around, but above all else, the price is the problem here. So I would just want to make that very clear. Um, I get all these emails talking about, oh, well, you could do this and do that and strops and films and all and on and on. I get that. I could have gotten a much better edge. I get that. I could have gotten a much better edge with the stones that I have if I wanted to put more time into it. Um, I brought this up, I apexed the knife, I went through the progression, and that's it. I just did a quick, fast, easy edge. It turned out great, it's sharp, it looks good, it's straight. Uh, my edge bevels uh, are consistent on both sides and that's what I wanted to see. So, <clears throat> so it did everything I wanted it to do and it worked well. Uh, so anyway, uh, you know, the, the handle thing, uh, one other thing I wanted to say, and I didn't say it in the first video, when this thing's on the stand, it rocks back and forth and wobbles. So you really have to hold on to this while you're sharpening with the other hand. Um, now, I did like the fact that you could rotate it because then you can change your, your bevel and get the light just right so you can see it, uh, which makes it nice. Uh, however, this thing, uh, the fact that it wobbles around on that base, it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel that great. It's not, it just feels cheap. That's really what it is. Um, I did have Gerald at Outpost 76 said that he made his own base because he wasn't going to pay the 25 or 30 bucks they charge for a piece of wood and a, and a little aluminum rod. And his, he actually made the, the post half inch. Uh, which I'm guessing is the inner diameter or of this hole right here uh, because the post that it came with measures like 490 thousandths or something. And so that, you know, puts slop in this. Uh, so with his, he says it sits there firm, uh, which is a good thing. And, and I could definitely see that being a really positive deal if this did sit in there solid. Um, so those are my complaints about the KME. It's not that it doesn't work. It's not that you can't get a better edge. It's not that I wanted a better edge. Um, I understand you can do all those things and you can mirror polish. I get all of that. I'm just talking about in its stock form with the deluxe kit, the part that costs $225, what kind of an edge do you get for that kind of money? And this is it right here. This is no extras, just the stuff that came in the box. And it's a good working edge, no question about it. It's very sharp, it shaves arm hair, it does all the stuff, and it was 165 on the sharpness tester, which is sharper than a utility knife and a razor, you know, razor blade utility knife. So that's fantastic. All right, now with the raisin. The raisin, <clears throat> uh, the pros here are the fact that this clamps down to the table. It's very, very solid, which is great. Um, you know, it just has this metal rod, but it is a six millimeter rod in comparison to the KME's four millimeter rod. So there's, there's a substantial difference and you can see them right here. There's a substantial difference in thickness and diameter and overall strength. So, <clears throat> so that's, uh, that is a positive over here for the, uh, system for the, the, uh, raisin. Now, one of the things that people talked about, well, why didn't you use the KME stones? Uh, and it really just boils down to, I didn't want to. I wanted to use the actual stuff that came with the kit. Now, the KME stones fit just fine in the raisin setup. All you gotta do is move this handle up, which is the, the stop for your spring. 
and then you can put the KME stones in there just like you do the other stones just like that and they work just fine so if you wanted to use shorter stones um, and use these KME diamond stones absolutely can no no issues whatsoever um, you know if I was going to do a lot of that and use different length stones I would probably get another piece of this aluminum bar stock you, I mean you this kind of material you could pick up at a local farm store or whatever and cut the length that you want and probably just have two of them uh, and then you know you could just change them out because in this configuration you're gonna have this portion just sticking out down here anyway with that being said it's fine it, it would work just fine um, but uh, so so some of the negatives uh, certainly the clamp is the biggest difference here between the KME and the raisin and this clamp is not as nice no no doubt about it the the KME clamp is a nicer better designed clamp uh, that is easier to, to use and to get set up properly now I personally am going to modify this to make it what I want it to be and like I said in the first video for $28 I'm willing to modify this and you have enough material here to work with to modify this to make it what I want it to be um, I think it's a pretty good system really and for $28 it worked well now can you get diamond stones for this hell yes there's stones everywhere edge pro stones which there's billions of I mean you can find them anywhere all over online uh, because of the way this operates here uh, you have really a, really any you could have as long stones as you wanted honestly um, now you're gonna get into the situation where you need to have the travel um, so it you know a longer stone at some point just becomes ridiculous and redundant but but certainly you know the six inch stones that it comes with works ex extremely well uh, and and I like the longer stones now as far as cutting uh, the stones did great this is the knife I sharpened with the raisin like I said this is a US 10 and so it's got a little higher carbon content than OS 8 um, and so effectively it should be a little harder to sharpen um, I, I can't swear to that I just sharpened this one um, but I would say time spent on both systems and, and again I reprofiled both edges so <clears throat> time spent on both of them was about the same the natural stones cut the OS 10 just as quickly as the diamond stones cut the S35 VN so I, I didn't time each sharpening session but but you know give or take 10 or 15 percent or something they were very very close in time so you know for their intended purpose the natural stones did a good job on the OS 10 and did what exactly what I wanted it to do so again I didn't go for the sharpest knife I could possibly get that's not what I was going for I just wanted to put a good edge on the knife and see if this sharpener produced good results and that's what I did and this knife if you didn't see the other video uh, this knife uh, measured a 185 so there were 20 grams difference between the two knives so uh, the difference between a 185 and a 165 on that sharpness tester is next to nothing um, and I'm gonna chalk that up to human error I'm gonna say with the quality of edge that you can achieve with both of these systems one is not better than the other if you do everything correctly uh, now is one easier to use than the other yes I would say the KME is easier to use because you don't have all these screws to mess with on the clamp is this a big problem not really uh, not for me um, you know I'm, maybe it is for someone else and and there and and therein lies the rub is this worth the money to you um, if you see this as a huge disadvantage uh, that you have to mess with these screws then I would say here you go you don't have to mess with the screws it's just gonna cost you a lot more money uh, I personally don't mind messing with the screws I didn't have an issue with the blade moving around or anything like that it's not like I had to keep readjusting it uh, it worked well right from the get-go 
So <clears throat> anyway, guys, what I have to say about this is, um, I, oh, and one other person asked me, uh, could you do a longer knife in the raisin? And yes, yes, you can. So the difference is really comes down to that ball joint, uh, the pivot and how far away from the cutting edge of your blade that it is. And let me screw this in here real quick and I'll show you. So in both of these scenarios, the cutting edge is going to be out in front of the clamps uh, by a little, a little bit, depending on what knife you have in there. <clears throat> but, you know, envision this knife sitting in here and your cutting edge is going to be, you know, something like that, roughly. And so let me move this out of the way. I'm going to set that right there. And we're going to say that, let's get this turned here so you can see all that. Yep. All right. So your pivot points here, your, your edge is going to be, you know, maybe a half inch or three quarters of an inch out in front of the clamp versus the KME. There's the difference right there. So, so that's, um, you know, you got probably an inch and a quarter difference here just between the ends of the clamp. And then of course the knife's gonna stick out a little bit further than that. Um, so that inch and a quarter difference is is pretty big, honestly, uh, with how well, or you know, how long of a blade you're going to do. I do not know what the maximum blade length is for both systems. I'm sure that's published somewhere. I did not look it up, <clears throat> but, but that's, that's what's limiting you on blade length is the distance from this pivot point to the end of the clamp. And on the raisin, you can see that it's, you know, an inch and a quarter or so more, or maybe an inch and a half. So it definitely, definitely is a, is a larger unit. <clears throat> and then, you know, whether or not you like it being solid on the table and that sort of thing, you know, that's to each their own. Uh, some people are gonna like that, some people probably are not. Um, I know there's tons and tons of people out there that love the KME and that's wonderful. I'm happy for them. If it works for you, great, keep banging them out. <clears throat> um, this system here, the other thing I wanted to clear up is the fact that this has not been on the market for very long. So um, I had a bunch of people saying, oh, if I would have known that was available, I wouldn't have bought the other thing. And this is fairly new. I don't know how long exactly it's been on the market, but um, you know, maybe just a, a few months. This hasn't been around for very long, so I don't want people thinking, oh my God, I could have saved all this money. If, if you've had this for for two years, uh, this was not available then. So they did, the same company made a different sharpener that was kind of a clone or a knockoff of the Edge Pro. Uh, personally, I, I don't really care for it. I don't like it, um, but that's just me. But we're not talking about that one. We're talking about this one. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, hopefully that clears some stuff up. I, I don't know. I, you know, everybody's going to have their own opinion about everything. I was just simply trying to show off a couple of different sharpening methods. I knew the KME was really popular. Tons of guys use it. Um, uh, but I'm here to tell you that first time using both systems I didn't have any issues both are real easy uh, you know simple to understand and whatnot or at least it was for me um, I was able to get a really good sharp knife first try um, with both of them so I you know take that for what you will um, this one is a little more difficult to use on the clamp However, once it's all clamped in and good, I would say the sharpening experience with this was actually better just because this was mounted solid, uh, which made it nicer to operate. This, I constantly had to hold it because if not, it was going doot, 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 and flopping back and forth on that stupid stand. Uh, so, you know, it, yeah, personally, if this were, if this, if I was gonna use this, if I wasn't gonna travel with it, I'd probably take that stupid handle off and just literally mount that thing right to the table because you could absolutely do that. Um, and, and it would work just fine. So anyway, guys, um, that's what I had for your face balls today. Uh, 
hope hopefully everybody enjoys this and i'm you know i'm not looking to start any fights or anything else and i know there's guys that are diehard cami and that's wonderful and if you love it i hope you love it forever uh, that's fantastic uh for me because i freehand sharpen i do not see the value in this there's no way in hell i would spend that kind of money to buy that thing um does it work absolutely uh, but, uh, you know, there's a tons of things out there that work well that I have no interest in, and that's one of them. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks a lot, and I appreciate all the comments and stuff. Hopefully we have good discussions. I don't want anybody getting upset or angry or anything like that. There's no reason for any of that. Um, I was just showing off these two sharpeners, and yeah, should be good. So hope everyone has a wonderful weekend, and we will see you next time.